Hello and welcome to this video on adding word templates to your 1090 system. We are going to cover these three main sections here in this video so if you'd like to skip ahead to any particular part that you need help with uh, feel free to use the chapter sections at the bottom of the video here to do that. Um, to confirm we're going to cover these three main parts here so first of all where to add your template into the system into the first place uh, then how to use our merge tags so when I say merge tags this is how we get the templates to, to automatically populate. So the idea is you add the template into the system once using our merge tags, and then every time you generate a tenancy, for example, your tenancy agreement is then ready to go. You don't need to type it out every time. And then third is how to actually generate and then send out that template as well. So to confirm, we're gonna start with the first section here. So where to add your template in. Um, we are gonna cover the difference between the different types of templates in the system. So you've got letter and email templates, and then you've got document templates as well. We're going to be focusing specifically on the document ones in this in this help video. And two is then how to actually add in that template into that se section here. So let's skip ahead and go straight to the first part. So looking at the first section of this guide on Word templates then, we're going to be moving on to the templates tab from the top of the page here. This is where you add all templates into the system. Uh, this is where I'd like to explain the difference as well between the letter and email templates we have here. This is where you'll first land when you get to this page. And then you've got the document section here. So also at this point, I'd just like to point out if you would like to go along, or, you know, whilst you're actually trying to add your templates in, if you'd like a written guide as well, whilst you're doing that, you'll see here, quick help, please see our help guide on adding templates here. So if you click on that, this will take you to essentially a written guide of what we're going through here on this call. Um, the first section to, to pay attention to is where do I add my template? And this explains in detail the difference between our letter and email templates and our document templates as well. So please feel free to refer to this guide. And how I got here, I clicked on templates. And it says quick help, please see our help in adding templates here. If you have already closed that message down in your system, so you're not you're not seeing this pop up, you can always get back to this by clicking the help button here in the corner. That's going to open up our help center. Or the help button here in this corner. That gives you uh, an integrated guide. And you just want to type into here, templates. It is then the section I recommend, the, the guide I recommend you look at when you're first starting off would be adding documentation templates. And this is one that explains where do I add my template and it explains the difference between letter and emails and documents here. Okay, so just to confirm, letters and emails are, are usually shorter templates that you can, you can use to send a quick email to someone through the system. Now the system already comes preloaded with lots of email templates and letter templates as well. In this guide, I'm going to be showing you more on the documents section here. These will be longer templates, usually contracts, tenancy agreements, um, that you would need to generate and send out to either your tenants or in, in fact into yourself and a client as well. So to get to that, so you're going to templates, documents, and then you have all these different sections to add them in. Now, where you add your template is important. So I would recommend reading the guide that I just showed you on where do I add my template to explain the difference here. You can always uh, get in touch with our support team as well. If you, you know, when you go to add in your template for the first time, please do ask us where the best place to add it is. It's better you ask us from the start and then we can tell you before you kick off the process. Essentially, the reason why it's important is if I added a template into, for example, the tenant section here, I'll have access to certain merge tags. And then if I added the document in the letting section here, you would then have access to different merge tags. That is just because the system picks up data in different places. So essentially, it is important to know where to add it. So feel free to read that guide or get in touch with us as well to ask. Um, as an example, a tenancy agreement, which is what we'll be adding today, would go into the letting section here at the bottom. That is because when you add a letting into the system is when you tell us the tenant, the rent amount, the term, the deposit. Therefore, it's this section we need to add the template. OK, to add a Word document then, any of these sections you go into, you will see either add or add Word template. We're going to be doing the Word template option here. So go ahead and click Add Word Template. 
you need to give it a description. I'm going to call this one example AST. You'll then need to give it a description as well. The name is what will what will appear when you send out when you finally generate this template and you send it out to a tenant that's what they're going to see so just keep that in mind when you put this name in here the description is just for internal processes so you're you can just so you can identify each one i'll put one two three in here okay i'm going to click add so so far what you've done is you you've selected the correct area that you're adding your template in so I can see the title, I can see the description, and I can now see all the available tags here as well. So how these tags work, this, this is going on to our merge tags. Um, this is really the second part of this video. We're looking at what our merge tags do and how to add them into your document as well. So what you'll need to do this, you'll need this page up here on one screen where you've got access to all the tags, and then you'll want to get your Word document up on a in a separate tab as well. So you're flicking between this this page and your Word document as well. I've got my Word document here that I'm going to open up on my computer. So this is an example tenancy agreement. Um, what I've done is I've put in kind of brackets here wherever we would like the data to go, like property address, current date, and then there's some sections that are just blank. So you know when you're when you're doing this, your tenancy agreement may just be completely empty, or someone may have entered where they'd like the information to go. Um, Either way, what we need to do is wherever we want the data from the system to appear, we need to put our tags in here to make it do that. So, for example, looking at this tenancy agreement, can you see the first bit says this document contains the terms tenancy of, and then it's asking for the property address here. So what I need to do is go back to our list of tags. Um, there are quite a few different tags to choose from her different sections. So. I recommend whilst you're looking at, whilst you're not too used to the system or if you're wondering the correct section, the correct tag to use, I recommend looking at our guide first at the same time. So like the other section we looked at, like where to add your template, we've also got a guide on which tags to use. And that is available by clicking onto the help sections like we looked at before. So you can click help at the top, you can click help here if you, if you prefer an integrated guides. And then you're looking for the one templates tags guide here. This is going to talk you through step by step which tags to use. And we've actually separated this guide here. If you scroll down a bit, where it says tags guide, if you're doing a letting template, you can click here. If you're doing sales, you can click here. And then if you want guides on which signature tags to use, you can use those as well. Because I'm doing something on the letting side of the system, I'm doing an AST here, tenancy agreement. I'm going to click letting template tags. And essentially what this is a list of, is a list of uh, our most useful tags to use and the ones that will come up again and again on the letting side. So for example, the first one is start date of the tenancy or end date of the tenancy. Now, the first thing that my agreement's asking me for is the property address. So if I didn't know which tag to use, I can use this guide here and just keep going down until I see the one for the property address. So if we have a look. Here we go. Uh, display the property to be let address. So that's what the the purpose of the tags for. Where to find it is this middle column. So property tags address on one line. So if I go down to property tags, I've got address on one line. So I can copy that, go into my Word document, and I want that data to go there. So I'm going to paste it here. So that has now got the 1090 tag in the right place. This document contains the terms of the tenancy of and the and the address of the rental property is going to go there. And really it's just a case of going through the agreement and putting the tags in the right place. Also it's asking me here this agreement is made on the and the current date should go there. So again, using this guide, I'm going to have a look through. Oh, here we go. Display the current date. That is available in general tags, current date. So I go into general tags here, current dates, copy, paste here. And that's going to put, whenever you generate it in the system, it's going to automatically put the date there for you. So that is how you um, identify and place the tags into the document. And I would very much recommend that you use 
our guide on this when going through it. Because if you're just looking at all the tags here, you may be you may not know which ones to use because there's so many different sections that you can access. Generally speaking, people are often setting up the same sort of templates, like tenancy agreements or contracts. So this list of the most commonly used tags will, will probably suffice for the ones you're looking for. Of course, when you are setting this up, if you'd like to ask us what's the best tag to use in any situation, you can get in touch with our support team and we can let you know. Okay, moving on to the next section in the video, we're going to be looking at uploading that Word document. Now you've already added all the merge tags and pasted them into the Word document. You need to click Upload Word Template here at the top. You select the file and you select wherever it's been saved on your computer. Mine is this one. So I can see this is the latest one that I've done. Something to keep in mind when you're doing these is have a look at where it says date modified. You want to always make sure it's the most recent one that you have been working on. So I last saved this one a minute ago, so I know that's the most recent one here. Okay, so, so far we've added the word template into the correct section, which we saw in chapter one. And then we added all the merge tags and, and put them in the word document. What I've then done is that I've uploaded that and you can see it now says either download or replace. So essentially that's, that's the setup all done. Um, the next step we're going to have a look at then is then how to generate this uh, this tenancy agreement in this example and how to make any edits before if you before sending it off if you if you need to so to do this um, it does depend on where you've added your template in now remember in this example we're doing a tenancy agreement so it's going to be done within the letting uh, depending on what which type of template you're setting up you may need to send it from a different place um, just let us know if you need help with this and we can let you know how to do it so with the tenancy agreement then I have actually set a tenancy up earlier, so I'm going to skip ahead and show you that. Okay, so here's a letting that I set up. It's actually got two tenants, there's a few guarantors. Um, it starts today and it's a 12 month term. So I've set the letting up initially. I'm then going to go down to documents here on the right. You can see the one that we've added is right here at the top. I called it example AST and I put one, two, three in the description. So we know this is the right one. So to generate your template, you just click generate here on the right, and then you can preview it to see how it looks. You can see this is a PDF version of that Word document that we've uploaded. However, first things first, we put in the address tag for the property address straight away, and you can see it says here 20 Wharf Road, Essex. And so it's pulled in the property address of the tenancy on the system. I haven't had to type that in. Likewise, I asked it to put the current date in, and it's put the current date in for me as well. Um, let's say, though, for any reasons we needed to make any edits to this document. So to do this, we're going back to this tab here. And just to confirm how you get here, you go into the letting first of all. You go to documents here on the right, and you'll see it says A example AST, the word 1, 2, 3 there. So you click generate. Now before we click preview to have a look at that, but let's say we need to want to, we want to make some edits now. So we click generate. This gives you a screen like this here. So it's at this point that we can make any edits if we need to. Um, now the way that you do this is you click a uh, word version here at the top. First of all, that downloads the document at the bottom of your screen in, uh, in Microsoft Word. Now what this has done is it's pulled in all the information for you. Um, and it's given you a chance to edit it basically when you when you use this method. So before we were looking at the master template, right? And that's when we were putting all the tags in place. Now we've generated this and we've downloaded it. Can you see it's actually put the property address here? I can see that. It's also put the current date, etc. Uh, let's say, for example, I wanted to make a change to this document and highlight this section in yellow. So before sending this off, I wanted to make sure this was really obvious and it was highlighted. So I've highlighted this section here and I'm going to save this here at the top. Note, when you do this, you don't need to do save as and rename it or anything like that. You can literally just click the save button here. So that's done. Go back onto 1090. And then to get that new copy uploaded just for this tenancy. Now remember, this isn't changing like the master template. That still stays the same with all the tags in place. What we're doing is uploading it just for this letting here. And to do that, you click Upload New Word Version here. It's going to ask you which file to upload. Now, when you do this, go to your Downloads folder here on the left. 
it will be in your downloads folder and just keep note of the date modified and the time. So I know that this is the latest one I've done because I've literally just changed it. It's, it's the right time there. So I click open, save. So what I've done just to confirm the whole process there, first of all, I clicked word version that downloaded it for me. I opened it up, made some changes and saved it. And then I clicked upload new word version and put that new one on. So you can see there's two versions and that second one that I've added, if I, if I now just preview this to show you, view latest, you can see it's been added exactly the same address dates all there. And this bit's highlighted yellow because that's the change that I made. To send off the tenancy agreement, then you basically have two options. You can either click email copy here. That is going to send the tenant uh, an email uh, with the tenancy agreement attached. Or if you've got e-signing with us, you'll notice you get an e-sign option here as well. So depending on what uh, features you've got enabled, you could either email it, you could print it by clicking view latest, getting the PDF and then just printing it like this. Or the e-sign option, you click e-sign here and it will show you who it's being sent to. So in this case, it's going to two different tenants. There's actually then three guarantors. And if you had yourself down as a staff member, it would be go to you finally or the landlord, depending how you got it set up. If I wanted to send that for e-signing, I could then add any attachments at this point. Often agents will do things like attach uh, how to rent guide, uh, gas certificates, things like that. You can choose to attach them from this section here. Uh, you can choose between whether it's a company document you've added or something you've uploaded, like a gas cert. Uh, you get the different options to choose from here. Once you've uploaded, when, once you've got all the attachments on there, you can add as many as you like here. Um, you can then go ahead and click e-sign at the top and that will send out your document for e-signing. Great, that one's been done. So to confirm what we did there, first of all, we went to the letting, we went to documents. We found the one that we've added with the name and description and we click generate. First of all, we actually previewed it just to check it was okay. After that, we then click generate. This is what then gives you the screen where you can do the editing beforehand um, and the e-signing as well. If you need to, feel free to refer back in, in this video, skip back to any steps to go over them. Uh, definitely feel free to get in touch with us on our normal support number, support email if you need if you need a hand with this uh, section here. And please do remember as well, we've got the help guides available. So in each part of the video, we've got a written guide explaining that as well. So that includes where to add the template in the first place, which tags to use, and how to use e-signing as well. I hope this uh, video was useful for you. And uh, please feel free to get in touch if you need any more help with this.